everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Jen and here I am today <laughs> this is what I look like every day <laughs> this is pretty much me I have an awesome breakout going on right here I put my hair up every day for work just because I hate having it down and I wear glasses because I work early and if I put contacts in too early then it hurts my eyeballs <laughs> um, I don't know if you guys can tell, but today has been a rather hard day for me. And I decided that I would vlog about it. My last video was in regards to social media and to protect yourself uh, on social media. The reason I made the video was because uh, of things that were going on in the beauty community that I decided were important enough to me to take part in and I'm I was stupid I was so dumb but there was a cosmetics company who and a larger youtuber who made a snapchat video calling one of the people who was reviewing their products ugly and it turned into a huge fiasco on Facebook. It blew up into like, or on Facebook, on the internet. It blew up like into war. Like it was awful, awful. And me being the smart person that I am decided to rest, to say, to say my opinion, which is stupid. So I know all of the parties that are involved of this thing that is going on. I know, Karina Kaboom, she was the very first YouTuber to ever lend me a hand. And she was the first person to ever help me when I had questions. So I have a special place in my heart for Karina. I know Gerard Cosmetics because I have purchased from them. I've bought face products from them. I've bought lip products from them. I have purchased their items with my own money and I also know Manny MUA because Manny um, was one of my favorite larger YouTubers and I was very sad when I saw the YouTube video even though it doesn't affect me um, even though I am not directly involved in a way I am because I am a consumer and I have purchased Gerard Cosmetics products in the past and if they were to have had in more products that I was interested in I would have kept on buying from them so seeing everything happen the way that it did um, was really frustrating to me because I saw I saw and heard people saying awful things about each other and you know, it goes for every side. Things were, were said that were mean and hurtful. I think as a business, it was wrong of Gerard Cosmetics to say those things. You know, uh, even, even if someone is says or does something that you don't like, doesn't mean that you have to retaliate in a mean and hurtful way. I don't understand why we in the beauty community cannot just support one another and be nice to each other. Like I don't understand why there has to be so much hate and it makes me so sad that it has to be that way because I would never in my life think about publicly calling someone out and saying mean things about them over the internet. It made me as a as a consumer not want to buy from them anymore it made me upset and it made me think that you know if I were a youtuber that had a contract with Gerard I would no longer want to work with them because I wouldn't want to be associated with a company that says that about their clients whether it's behind closed doors or on especially on social media like that is not something that I would want reflecting upon me so I felt comfortable with the things that I have said on social media up until today today um 
what would Lizzie do, who I've been a subscriber to for over a year, over a year and a half, she posted a video about Gerard Cosmetics. She she was a uh, reviewing uh, one of their some of their newer products and Lizzie is always very honest she always says you know like I do get commission if you use my code Lizzie is always great and a lot of people love her because of that including me I love Lizzie as a person and plus I met her at BeautyCon and so it was really awesome to have met a youtuber like that in real life I commented on the video I said I'm too ugly to purchase from Gerard Cosmetics and so I'll just buy ColourPop instead That, to me, in my mind, was not degrading Lizzie at all. I was just stating that I did not support, I, I did not support Gerard Cosmetics. I posted that on her wall, or on her feed, and I realize now that that was stupid. And I'm sorry, Lizzie. I didn't mean to bring any hate towards you. That was not my intention. <laughs> And she replied to me, and she said a very long paragraph of things. And of course, her subscribers came to her defense, which I wouldn't, I wouldn't expect anything otherwise, because your your subscribers are really the people who care about you most. But I don't know if she marked me as spam or if she blocked me or made it so I could not respond but I could not respond to any of the comments that were made on my comment and so I could not explain to people that I did not like Liz that it wasn't that I didn't like Lizzie I don't want to purchase from Gerard Cosmetics anymore and it was stupid and I shouldn't have done it <laughs> And it was hard, and it has been hard because I, I don't feel like I'm a bad person. I don't. In fact, I I love. I love YouTube. I love everything about YouTube, and it makes me sad that my comment brought so much hate towards me. I understand that not everyone is going to agree with my perspective. I understand that a lot of people think that this whole thing was just overblown. I get that. And I don't expect you to change. I don't expect to change your mind. But for me, that was my stance. It has made me wonder if I really want to do YouTube, which makes me very sad because YouTube was a dream of mine. YouTube is a dream of mine. I would love if in my life I had the opportunity to work, you know, to do YouTube part-time and work part-time. But the continuous hate that spews up on videos makes, makes me very sad. I'm a very sensitive person and I don't know if I can handle it. I don't, I don't know. I understand that a lot of this was my doing because I was the one who originally posted the comment on Lizzie's channel. I understand that. And so maybe I'm getting what I deserved. But I had no intention of hurting Lizzie or making her mad. So I, I come to you guys first to apologize um, if you feel like I have ever acted out in an inappropriate way. Second, to ask you what you think, if you think that I should stop making videos. Third, maybe just to get your opinion on everything. Um... I'm sorry that you guys have to see me like this. You know that on my channel, it's, I try to be very positive. I try to be the happiest person that I can because YouTube makes me happy. And I want my subscribers to see that. But this has definitely been a learning lesson for me. And, and I hope 
that you guys can understand. I wasn't going to make a video about this, but I think, I think it might be good for me to do, so. Anyway, I love your faces. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you later.